What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at prime factors and we're also going to look at something called prime factorization. So let's waste no time, let's go. So first of all we need to understand that factors are numbers that multiply together to equal the original number. So we know what factors are, but what does it mean by prime? What's a prime number? Well, let's have a look at this number 20. And if I'm trying to find the factors of 20, I can draw my factor tree and I can see that 1 times 20 would equal 20. So 1 and 20 are both factors. I can also see that 2 and 10 are factors. And I can see that 4 and 5 are also factors. Now, just a quick note, if you're not too sure on how to find factors and use a factor tree like this, Go and watch that specific video on this channel because we're not really going to focus on that today. We're looking at prime factors. Okay, so now I've got my factors of 20. What I'm looking for are the prime factors. But what's a prime number? What does it mean, prime? Well, let's take one of these numbers. Let's take the number 10. And if I had 10 and I also tried to do the factors of 10, I would have 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. So because 10 has a range of different factors, this is not a prime number. Let's look at that compared to the number 5. So when I do the number 5, I can see that my 5 can be made up of 1 times 5, but then I have no other factors. So that means that the number 5 is actually a prime number. So a prime number means a number that has no other factors except the number 1 and itself. Because if you think about it, every number can be multiplied by 1. So in this case, the number 5 is actually a prime number. Let's find other prime numbers of these factors. Well, we know 20 is not, because 20 is the number we started with. Let's look at the number 4. Well, number 4 can be made up of 1 times 4, but it can also be 2 times 2. So because we have this 2 times 2, 4 is not a prime number. And actually, the opposite of prime number is called composite numbers. So 4 is a composite number. What about number 2? If I have 2, I can only make 2 by doing 1 multiplied by 2. So because it only has 1 multiplied by 2, 2 is also a prime number. And now we're left with the number 1. Now, 1 is a special number because officially it is not a prime number, even though you could say that 1 can only be made up of doing 1 times 1. But because it only uses 1s and it's got no other number there, officially, mathematically, it's not a prime number. So we need to just remember that 1 is never a prime number. So the prime factors of 20 are 2 and 5. Let's look for the prime factors of 15. Well, 15 can be made up of 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. Well, we know 1 is not a prime number. We also know 15 is not a prime number because that's our original number. And we know that we can multiply 3 times 5 to get 15. We know from our past experience that 5 is a prime number. But let's have a look at the number 3. 3 can only be made up of multiplying 1 times 3. So 3 is also a prime number. So the prime numbers of 15 are 3 and 5. Now I'm not going to tell you all the prime numbers because that's just an easy Google search away, but often it's useful to know the first few. So our first few prime numbers would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. These are often the ones that we'll use the most. But there are loads of prime numbers. Just go look for them yourself. Whoa, I'm just going to press pause a second. Have you thought about subscribing to this channel? We put loads of new videos up every week to help you with your maths. So if you're not a subscriber, think about pressing that subscribe button now. Okay, back to the learning. So now let's look at something called prime factorization and understand why it's good to know what the prime numbers of our factors are. Now, prime factorization sounds horrible, doesn't it? But what it means is that we want to break up our factors down to their prime numbers. Let's have a look what that looks like. So if I have the number 32, I could have 1 multiplied by 32. But 
we know that one is that kind of weird prime number where it's not a prime number, but it kind of doesn't fit the normal rules. So let's pick another factor pair. Let's start with two and 16. Now, if you remember, two is our first prime number. So we have a prime number there. But 16 is not a prime number because 16, if we continue the factor tree, can be made up of two times eight. Now look, I have a two, which is a prime number, but an eight, which is not. So I'm gonna continue my factor tree and I can find factors of eight being two and four. So two is a prime number, but four is not. So let's continue my factor tree and I can make four by doing two times two. And now look, I have finished because I've got down to two prime numbers. So I've used this factor tree to do what's called prime factorization, finding all of the prime numbers. But why is that important? Well, look, if I get my numbers here, two times two times two times two times two equals 32, because two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32. And we can use this skill as we develop our maths knowledge. Now let's use prime factorization to break down the number 45. Well, I can start with any factor pair. So in this case, I'm gonna choose 15 multiplied by three, because 15 times three is 45. Now I can see straight away that three is a prime number, so I don't need to carry on that side of my factor tree. But 15 is not, because 15 can be made up of three times five. Well, I can see another three here, so that must be a prime number. And also my five is a prime number because no other two numbers multiply for five. So my prime factors of 45 are three, five, and three. Let's check if that works. Three times five is 15. 15 times three is 45. So let's look at what to remember. Factors are numbers that multiply together to equal the given number. Prime factors have no other factors but one of themselves, and we can use prime factorization to break a number into its prime numbers. And then the key part is that we can use those prime numbers to multiply back together to get to my original answer. So your turn. I want you to break down the number 75 into its prime factors. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, head on over to themathshelter.com to find many more lessons like this all in sequence so you know exactly where to go next. Hopefully this video has been helpful, but for now, peace out.